Hey everybody, welcome to my live and welcome to the replay if you are catching me later. You know you're watching a replay because you don't see the little live button up there. So today I'm going to do a project or three or more. Um, we'll see how quickly I can do this. Something that you could use to decorate in your office if you have a small space or just any small space. And um, I just have some really fun little surfaces. We carry some stuff like this with Chalk Couture, but these are not Chalk Couture surfaces, so full on disclosure. And hi, Amanda, welcome. So I'm just gonna try to find myself on live so that I can see comments. And we'll play this game for a minute while I do. Let's switch it around so you can see what we're doing here. I have a few of these just cool boards. Now, they don't come apart, so there is a sand. You can paint this if you want. It is raw wood. You can wax it and chalk on it if you want to do a little design here. I'm going to add ribbon because I am a ribbon uh, I'm addicted to ribbon lately. Uh, let's see. Still can't find myself. So, oh, no, I should be on my, hopefully I'm on my page. Hi, Hope. Um, make sure you say hi as you come on in. And if you do not like my business page, you definitely want to like and follow so that you can check out other lives and other tutorials that I do. I think I found myself. Okay, let's do that. Let's um, get going. Now I just want to do a few of these. I set, I kind of was like figuring out what I wanted to do. And I have some little embellishments and things. The first one we're going to do really simple. This is from our Christmas cheer transfer. And I'm gonna set that aside. Hi Vicki, hi Debbie. And I'm gonna kind of put it up a little bit high just so that I can just so that I can add a bit of ribbon to the bottom. The first one that I'm gonna do we're going to do in white and we're going to add some black and white ribbon and then whoa that's super full it was on its side i was working this weekend and i had it packed away a bit hi bridget hi janet hi michelle Ooh, thank you goodness okay so hi cindy Let's put a little itty bitty bit of white on here. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> not really ready. I'm never really ready. But um, I was like, just push the button and I'll get ready. So we have some white. So this is going to be really easy. Again, this is from our Christmas cheer. But then I'm going to add a little bit. And these are nice small sizes. They don't need to be hung. They can sit right on a desk or a ledge. And I can tell that this is drying pretty quickly. So let's go ahead and peel to reveal our, our very pretty joy to the world. I'm going to use this again. So hang on. I'm gonna set that aside before I embellish it. And then we're going to quickly do like a really quick color change on this transfer just using a little bit of spray water and a wipe oh I have another 
don't know what I did with it. Oh, it's over there. I'm like, I need one more. Okay. So I'm just gonna quickly clean this so that it can dry. I'm gonna do it in a different color next time. And you can see all of that chalky goodness getting cleaned up. You can kind of see it through the screen there. If I peel this up, clean that. Where is my towel? I did have that on my lap. I must have dropped it. Okay. Now it needs to dry just a second. So I'm going to set it up here to dry while I, oops, while I do a non-Christmas because you know, where did it go? There it is. We got to do a non-Christmas and this will be super cute. I guarantee you will want this. So we're going to do a fun one for the office. It's going to say, but first coffee and then on the back we'll do um, a little coffee and sunshine. These were so popular um, when they first came out and we were doing little coffee mugs. It's still super cute and I'm still a coffee addict so why not? Right? Right, right, right. Okay, so we're gonna do just white on the front and then we'll do the same on the back. I'm just gonna peel that. My husband is shushing himself. Are you shushing your boards? He's working on trim. So this needs to dry. But I can lay it like that because it's lifted up. And we'll do coffee and sunshine. Oh, don't drop your transfer. Hi, Christy. Hi, Beth. Hello, hello. Hi, Donna. Here we go. And I'm putting it up just a bit because I will have a thicker ribbon going around this. So this is super easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Whew. Okay, here we go. I hope everyone is um, had an awesome Thanksgiving weekend and is now ready to go back to work. Not me, so we have coffee and sunshine and then we're gonna do this. This needs to dry a bit so I don't mess with it. I'm gonna show you the embellishing kind of at the end. This one, it's almost dry. So I'm just gonna set them there and I'm gonna keep on trucking. Set this aside. That's still a little wet, so we'll dry that. Let's do this one. I have this fun ribbon, and the green is a little bit, it's a little different than the green that I have. And so I wanted to um, try something different. And I was gonna mix some colors, but then I thought it will get too dark for my black background. So then I decided to totally change, and instead I'm gonna go with the fawn because it's a real close color match to the other parts. And it's a little bit non-traditional when we're just talking Christmas decor. It's kind of hard to match reds and you know bright colors like that and so I'm trying not to match I'm just trying to um, be slightly um, okay so we have our piece slightly um, I'm at a loss for words today I don't know why I've been kind of tired today yesterday was a fairly long day but um, I don't know I don't know my words won't work today 
So fill in the blank. I'm just trying to compliment the color. I don't know, not really compliment, just halfway me. Oh, go ahead. My husband's like doing sign language to me. Yeah, it's ready. Yeah. Apparently dinner's ready. But I'm chalking. So there's my piece. Another thing you could do if this were not a permanent piece. Um, these are going to get sprayed to be permanent, but if it was not, you could use your gold ink. If you do gold ink on a board, you're going to want to dry, 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 dry the heck out of it. Um, it still might be tacky, but it won't be permanent. Uh, the ink has to be heat set, and it has to have a sustained amount of heat for a certain amount of time. And so for a board that you wouldn't bake and you wouldn't iron, that would be a little difficult. So let's try to center this. Hopefully, hopefully I'm getting things centered. It's not, eh, probably, probably could move it over a slight tad. A slight tad is just more, less than a tad, but more than a scotch. Scotch, is that a thing? I don't know, I'm making up stuff now. Hi Elaine. Oh Janet, you're, you're funny. I try really hard. Um, I'm usually pretty positive. I appreciate that you noticed that. Because, man, there are days when I don't always feel it. But I know that I got to work. And I will tell you this. This morning, so on Sunday mornings we go to church. And this morning I'm in church. And talking about Sunday, and Father said, it was the last day of your Thanksgiving weekend. And I was like, oh, I hate the last day of the weekend. I also hate the last day of my Thanksgiving weekend because it was such a long break. It gives me like, um, I'm always sad on, <laughs> always sad on Sunday nights because my weekend is coming to an end. So the highlight of my day is predicting if we will have a snow day tomorrow. So apparently a storm's a brewing and if it gets cold enough, and if it snows right at the right time, with just the right amount of snow, I might get lucky tomorrow morning for a snow day. <sighs> so these are definitely purchased, and they were actually, these boards, they were purchased at, so this is the last bit of the boards that I'm donating. If you've been watching, I have like this theme of boards that I'm creating, like things I'm creating for, it's a school sale. And so then all the proceeds go to the school. And this is the last of those things. So this was purchased I believe it was like a five or a six pack. I don't know how much it was, but it was not from the big red T, but the big red M. Because I think all those boards were from there. Now, very cute. I will tell you a sad, I will tell you a sad story. So I took one of these and they're really cute. But I was like, I'm gonna distress it and I'm gonna do something extra with it. When I distressed it and the way I painted it, it looked like a tombstone. And I was like, ugh, it is not Halloween. So I, I couldn't really use that one. Um, but I have learned my lesson and I will continue to create these in order to um, not make them look like a tombstone. All right, now. I'm going to do all the chalking first, and then I'm going to 
do the embellishing so you guys can see how I will do that. needs to get like wiped off okay I'm gonna use a little red oh, I love my little angled squeegee I have used it three times with three different ink colors so that kind of like saves my brain having to not clean off or reuse, not reuse, clean off, like put in my thing and use different ones. I'm saving myself by doing that. FYI. Okay. That should be good. I do love my angled squeegee. Ooh, fancy. Fancy, fancy. Okay, this is going into the water now, where all the rest of them are. <gasps> I, just, I just went to wipe my hands on my towel and it had fallen to the ground. Okay, one, two, three, four. Oh, I have one more. So I'll set this one. These are all drying. And here we go. There's a little glitter on this because of my embellishment it has a bunch of glitter on it. So I'm wiping it off because you know you don't want to glitter on your transfer. All right, so we are going to do, we're gonna combine these two little itty bitties. These are from the mini holiday icons. So we're going to, did you make your, oh yeah, I already read that. Hi Lydia. Snow, snow, snow Beth, please, please, please. <gasps> Michelle Snow Day, I want it. Hi Debbie, hi Susan. So we're gonna do Peace and then the Dove. And I am done with this, so I'm gonna clean it up. I have my little, my little heater on down here and it blows hot, dry air, which in turn, um, makes things dry out quicker. So I don't want my chalk paste to dry out too fast. Okay. Now, I don't know why I just, oh, this is why. Okay. So I'm actually using non-traditional again, Christmas colors. I'm gonna throw that in there. Non-traditional, okay. Yes, I just clapped my hands. Hi, Betsy. Welcome. So, we're gonna do a little piece. And we're gonna do a little dove. However, I need to do it in two different, two different ways. So, I need a little baby, little baby. One of these squeegees. Gosh, with my loss for words, I'm surprised you can even understand what I'm talking about. Sometimes I lose my words and sometimes my brain turns to mush and I talk about it all the time on here. Okay, I can do this, you guys, I can do this. Uh, we'll do the piece first because it's the bigger word. So we like to do the bigger parts first so they don't dry out as quickly as the little parts. After I do the big parts, we'll do the little parts. Get the rest of that pee. Okay, now we'll do the little parts with a very pretty, one of my favorite colors. Very similar to Honeydew, but it's not Honeydew. It is our older mint color. All right, so it's very subtle on there. I will lift it up and you'll be able to see that it is two different colors. It's 
very subtle, but it's gonna be gorgeous. Let's dry it and then move on to our little dove and then add our embellishments. So we have five, if I can count correctly, we have five things that we're going to be embellishing. Should be fun. Okay. Oh, I think I just need a little caffeine pick me up today. That is how I feel. Hi, Gail. Welcome to my live. We are just finishing up the chalking and then we will get on to some fun embellishing bits. I am gonna do uh, the same thing. I'm gonna do the lighter color, which is not really a white. It's kind of an off-white. And then I'm gonna do the green or the um, mint is actually what it's called. I just have a teeny tiny little bit. I mean, it's ever so subtle on this one in particular because it's tiny. Okay. Ooh, look at that. So this is a typical thing that you might do when you're chalking. You can easily just take a wipe or a wet little paper towel or napkin or my favorite, the Q-tip dipped in water and just clean that up like that and then dry it with the other side. Okay. So now we have the colors done. You see the different colors on there? I'm gonna go ahead and dry this and then we'll start embellishing the different pieces. Oh, I went to um, that, I went to Michael's, I will say it because we don't really carry this kind of stuff. And I bought just ribbon like crazy. And let me, let me clean this up really, really, really quickly because it'll make um, displaying stuff a little bit easier. I bought just a bunch of ribbon. It was definitely like Black Friday prices. Uh, not too bad. And anything to make things pretty. So that's what I always say. So I have this ribbon. It's very gold on this side, but when you, fl oh, okay. It's very gold on this side. <laughs> but when you flip it, it's a little less gold. So my goal with the gold ribbon is to use the less gold, less vibrant side for this particular project. So I love how I did that. Um, so I'm putting the more vibrant gold in the back. I gotta move this up so you can see it. If I move it over here, you probably could see it better. And so I'm gonna do my best to tie it, trying to center it. FYI, I am not making a bow. You all know my stress with bows, but I am, I'll fix it in a minute. I'm adding this fun, very pretty, like sprig of whatever you want to call it and I need to move I don't know is it eucalyptus I don't know what it is it's fake something and I'm sticking it in there and then I'm going to adjust these to open a certain way I'm gonna do my little V cut on both ends. Okay, so this 
I, I probably could use a little of the hot glue to keep it in place because this is going to be, um, this will be uh, sold. I almost want to say sold at auction, but it will not be sold at auction. So if I did a little hot glue, let's, you know, since I am finishing a bunch of these things, I probably should have this plugged in and ready to go. Guys, <laughs> my desk is a mess today. I apologize ahead of time if you only could see. All right, now friend just invited me. Terry, hello and welcome. Hi, Angie. Okay, Angie, let's talk about the blizzard. So I'm very concerned. Are you in the Kansas City area? Because I heard there's a blizzard down there or a warning. Cynthia, hello. Thank you. Kathy, thank you. Thank you. I have the media map. Oh, yes. Love it. Love it. Love it. So yeah, I'm ready to talk snow. If it means snow day for me. If it doesn't, then blasted darn winter. I don't even want to talk to you anymore. Okay. So we, this will get a little bit of um, hot glue so that the things stay in place. It's pretty, pretty, pretty. Then let's do this one, which is going to be so easy peasy lemon squeezy I just need a little bit of my you guessed it black and white and what I'm gonna do because remember this was double-sided double-sided remember it was double-sided um, I know you guys don't get that joke it's just a funny joke and there are only a few people who totally get that joke. And so when I say it, I don't even think that I'm saying it and that people aren't going to get it. But anyway, all right, let's, let's do a little bit of an angled cut here and a little bit of an angled cut here. I don't want to cut too much off because we already have just a tiny piece. So here's your butt first coffee. And then when you flip it over, it's just plain, which is totally fine. But what if you do the little trickery? Ah. And then you take a little leftover piece and yeah, tie it right to the center of that. And then on this side, we'll do our angled cut. What do you know? Then we have a true double-sided fun. Okay, so now we have the little, well, we can like, can move it wherever we want. The little double sided with the little thing and then the little knot. So if you put this on, let's say you have a desk and people can come up to your desk and they see the front of it, they can see one side and you can see the other. So very cute, right? So it decorates for you and for them. Not all desk things are made to be double sided and I know this because I'm a teacher and I have a desk. And people see the front of it, and I see it, and I want, I want to see the cute stuff too, not just always having it face out. So, cute, cute. Set that back. Now let's do our. <laughs> they, um, Cynthia, that's exactly what I was thinking. I think that these would make amazing coworker gifts, or. Even if you do like a secret Santa at your um, at your work or something like that, it would be the most adorable. 
I hope I put that up. I will have to probably squish this down a bit. Um, but the theme is the same. I am gonna put a little, a little embellishment on here, but I'm probably gonna need to keep it pretty skinny. I have this little tuft of cottony, cotton things, whatever. And they're, oh, I need wire cutters. I'm just using my very sturdy scissors, but I could totally use a little. And you know, the funny thing is, I was at the um, hardware store for my husband yesterday, and 100%, I literally, oh, this might be too big. Eh, sad, sad. It might be too big because of the, the leave. Unless I do it down here. Well, I can try this. It is worth a try. So I was at the hardware store and I saw wire cutters and I'm like, I should buy a pair uh, for to keep down here. And then I'm like, no, I can just always use my husband's. But then I have to go get them, find them, and bring them in the house because they're usually in the garage, which is mostly his workshop. Well, not mostly, I mean, it's our garage, but most of his stuff is in there. Let's see, if I do half and half, like cover up part of this with my ribbon. And then do a little double knot. Stick this in, tie it tight, but keep it down. I don't know if this is going to be a pain or what. Now we're going to trim this down. But anyway, I didn't and I should have because all these fun little flowers and floral things I'm using, they're all wired. Um, Illinois hate winners. Angie, what part of Illinois? <coughs> like I really need to figure out this storm. Am I getting it or are you in Southern Illinois? Because if you're in Southern Illinois, I might not. All right. This looks really cute in person. So hopefully it does. I wish I would have put the believe up a little farther, but you get that. Why would I hold it upside down? I, I don't even know. But it's cute. I like it. And when you set it down, it's very cute. And you can see everything. You can see the whole word. Okay, now I have two more. And this one, I'm gonna use a different ribbon. I just gotta open it up because it's brand new. It's cute, it has these stitches. So let's see how that goes. Where did I get those? Um. Those as in the pretty much whatever I have is from Michael's. Oh, look at that. That red is very dark on there. Maybe this isn't going to be the best. I don't like the looks. I don't like the looks. And you know, if I don't like something... I've got another idea though. Let's see. What about some buffalo plaid? Is that too? What do you guys think? Is that too? Because see, the reds don't match. Then it makes me sad. Because I can squeeze it. Yeah, nope, it's not going to match. Man! Oh, I just. Okay, we're not using any ribbon with red. I've just decided. Gosh. Okay. We're not using red ribbon. 
Yes, I do. Red plaid. You think, I know, I want to tell, oh, I keep dropping my ribbon. I want to tell you that in person it doesn't match right. But on screen, I saw that it looked okay, and that's why I was like, you know what, I'm going to not, I'm going to not do it. What do we think of it? Either that or I'm just going to have to change this one and use a different color of, of chalk. Or do black and white. Try. I like to look in. What do you guys think of this one? Black and white. Just go to black and white. You know that's easy. You know. And I have a piece that I can use. I have... What else did I buy? I don't have this out. It's a little bit brighter. I tend not to buy the bright, bright stuff. Uh, no, gosh, why do I even keep trying? All right, just go with this to make it, let's take that off so you guys can see. And then should I add, ooh, let's see. I could add in maybe that's a little too dark. Why do I have to be so complicated? I'm just not liking the red on this. So I, I hate to do this, but I'm going to get rid of it. I, it's, don't even, don't try to talk me out of it. I've made up my mind. It's ugly and I can't handle it. See? Make your decision quick and get on with your life. And then you can use any ribbon you darn well please. That's my... That's my thought on this. Don't get stressed out, just change it. In the meantime, we'll do this one and it'll be so cute, you have no idea. Use black and white. Oh, I have this fun houndstooth one. Maybe I'll try that. I really love the check, but in my search, Four, black and white checked. By the way, why is the world out of black and white stuff? Black and white checked ribbon went everywhere. Could not find it for the life of me. Multiple stores. Um, found this cute hound's tooth. So I bought two rolls of it because if I did, no, I bought one. No, I bought two rolls of it because if I didn't, I was afraid I wouldn't find any anywhere else. So I got this, and then I was able to find not the wired kind, but I was able to find some black and white checked that was like in the sewing department. So it's like just fabricy white ribbon. So I bought that too, so I could use for some different things. And I just, I was so disappointed in the world. Like I should be able to get black and white, um, like gingham ribbon, wherever I, it's so popular right now. You guys know that, right? Yes, that one's a cute one. I like the hound's tooth. Gives it a little different of a look. Current jam, okay. So let's, all right. I already put that transfer away. So I've got a totally different one here and we're gonna use 
something totally different. And hopefully it will be okay. Everything is gonna be all right. Oh, I know what I did. I washi taped this because my thing was curling. I was a little bit sad about that. Everything is gonna be all right. Okay. Now, we'll do a little green. A little green goes a long way. Squeegee me. There we go. This is exactly why I love Chalk Couture because you can just redo it. And there's no like, oh, I'm throwing it away or um, nobody will like it. Everybody will laugh at me. None of that because you just redo it. And it's not stressful. It's not hard. It doesn't take like, you know, a big amount of fuss. You just redo it. There's my green. And then we'll do our little red berries. And we'll be on our merry way. Okay, take off that washi tape, put it in the water, and dry it. No fuss, no muss. No problemo. It'll be awesome. The one I did already, so I will set them back out when I'm done. I'm just trying to like whip through this last one. I do have to add a little bit of um, hot glue to the one that's sitting over here, not staying in place, which is why I have to hot glue it. Now I want this to cool off for a second and I'm going to hot glue some things in place with my trusty hot glue gun. Okay, so let's do a little there. And then It's so hard because I have to see where everything is sitting. Let's do it here. Don't burn yourself, Sarah. I know I am. That will help right there. But I think I will put just a dab right there. A little dab will do ya. And then, there. Cynthia, you rip your fabric ribbon? I don't know if I could do that because I think I'm a bad ripper. I mean, I can rip washi tape. I would rip it and it would go so the wrong way and then I would be a mess it would be a mess and then I would have I don't know though maybe maybe because I've never tried it it would work okay lots of glitter on this one so I'm kind of holding it up so you guys can see I still want this open side not the very vibrant um I love these colors by the way I think they're super pretty very pretty why do you use a glass mat? So, good question, Susan, because I do what people tell me and I am such a follower at times. I love my non-stick mats and I have them all over my space. Like if you were looking where I'm looking and looking out at all my tables, I have non-stick mats for all my guests and my customers to use and over here on my washing station and over here on my water station, I have my non-stick mats. And I loved working on my nonstick mats. But then my good friend Jessica said, you need this special glass mat. And I said, why? And she said, just get it. And I went to a thing 
and I saw, well, so I was visiting my uh, glitter dealer and uh, she, they were um, pushing the glass mats, they were on sale. And I said, so why do you like this? And the lady told me all the good things. And a lot of it had to do with cleaning up and glitter and whatever. Um, also, I love the built-in measures. So, whether it's glass or not, or non-stick, I don't think it matters because the non-stick is amazing. I would like to invent, please, a large, bigger than this, bigger than the ones that I have, non-stick mat that has the built-in numbers. I don't want it to be black. If it's black, it has a hard time with the camera. Like, I've got this design in my mind. I just need to call up Chocotour so that they can, um, they can be the ones to manufacture it for me and then we can sell it and then all of you will get one because it's gonna be awesome right does my idea sound fairly good now I have to line this up and I'm I'm so off on lining this up because my sister said look for the heart the top of the heart well there's like no top of the heart on the green part that I can actually see. So I think I'm just looking for green to show up through all of the little ball pieces. Oh, it should be up a little. Gosh. This one's definitely a little bit got me stumped, but it is what it is. So now I need red. Let's use other colors but they're not here I don't know if they dropped off sorry I'm looking looking talking to myself Carrie I do have a glitter dealer and I'm not gonna lie not only did I buy so much glitter the last time that I was there or that I saw her she came over to my booth and said hey listen since you bought so much, I'm going to give you another jar free. So then I had to go pick out another jar. Um, I'll tell you, it's addicting. Like, I just want all the colors. Not because I'll use them all, but because I'll look pretty on my shelf. I am totally one of those people who likes to collect things. I try not to though. Help view changed. Oh, it did. You're not seeing anything. What the heck? Okay. How did my view change? Did I, I didn't hit some, did I hit something? Oh no, why did it go away? It just went away. Let me check. It's the weirdest thing. It's right here. Have I been, um, so it could be dead. You guys are gonna love this. I don't know. <laughs> Help, the view changed. What? I'll get it set up. It's been one of those days, right? I don't think I can, well, I could take my other thing and just pop it up. It's turning on. Oh, there we go. 
Yeah, it died. It was just plugged in like all night long and it didn't charge. That is weird. Oh, maybe it needs the other charger. You know, I, this is again, I hate Apple products and I apologize if you are an Apple fan, but they are messed up with their chargers. I cannot charge certain things with certain chargers and it really drives me nuts. Like I have two chargers down here and three Apple products. There, now you can see. I'm gonna take you for a little ride though. Close your, oh no, you can't see. I haven't changed the camera view. Thank goodness, cause that was awful. Hold on. Oh God, I have such a mess. Why did that happen? Why are you seeing all of my mess all of a sudden? Oh, because it's probably not pushed over. I am dropping stuff left and right. So this goes down as like one of the best lives in history. Not really. Let's scooch over. Okay, there we go. Hmm. Okay. How's this? Better? I apologize again for all of this craziness that's happening. I tell you, you should try being me. It is so fun at times. All right, so I have this, and uh, I think we're going to do not... Not that. We'll do like a neutral, um, but the red won't bother me. I think the red will be cute to just do like this because there's so little of it. You can't tell the actual color. Like my theory, there's so little of it you can't tell. It's kind of like when I tell my son, he, tr he tries to pick out clothes and um, asks if they match. And I'm like, well, they can, but uh, I'm looking around to see if I have an embellishment. Not really. I said, well, they can, cause those colors are far enough apart. Like he'll have like a random stripe on his pants, like kind of at the bottom. They make kids clothes kind of crazy these days well boys clothes and I'm like yeah it's far enough away from your shirt that it doesn't matter that it doesn't really match they say that to him and I say it in my head and all right so this is a little better I feel like I could put a little word on here this needs to be shorter I could put Ooh, ooh, mmm. Yes. <laughs> you like my thinking. Um, I was thinking of doing one of these words. Should I put one of these words across this? What do y'all think? If I do, I gotta pull them out and get them cleaned up. Peace. Peace would work what do you think of peace I have it right here If I dry it off, that will work. Believe, believe, not peace. Okay, let me find believe. I picked you, Carrie, because you were the first one that I saw. All right. And because this is for you. <laughs> you win.
Now, I'm gonna dry this. I'm waving it in front of my heater, which is not hot like my dryer. This is just warm air hot. It's like hot, but it's not hot. Okay, so it's dried. I'm gonna do it in the the fawn color. There it is. Where is it? And because I'm going over, I don't like to go over dark colors with a light color. Here's why. The chalk paste is. It, it's a thin microscopic layer and so you can see through light colors to the dark colors you can see through the light so because of that I'm trying to do a super thick layer first of all I just burned myself with my stupid thing okay This is stuck way too hard. Please don't let it. Okay, everybody cross your fingers. Say a little prayer that this did not pull up everything I just worked so hard on because I didn't fuzz it. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness it did not. And it looks good. Don't you think? And I can even move that up a little. Cute. <sighs> All right, let's recap. Because this super, this was supposed to be like a super easy fast live. Do you know my dinner has been waiting for me for a long time? Upstairs, that's fine. I don't mind going hungry for you guys. But let's recap and adjust this real quick. I want this to be stuck there. Okay, I don't want that to move. All the other ones are fine and I'm gonna unplug this and then I'm gonna recap and then it's gonna be time to watch for a snow day. Okay, so we have peace, joy, believe. And we have just regular believe. And then we have joy to the world. And then we have just regular peace. And then just because we did a coffee one, and actually I'm going to slide this up a little. Oh, you know what would be cute? Would it be cute to add one of these in there? Yes. Coffee and coffee. So I could add one of those cute little cotton things. So we'll slide it on down. This is, you guys got five for the price of one. And when one is free, five for free is awesome. Five different tutorials. Check it out. Yay, I did it. I feel like I need to bow because I am that stressed over all of this. Thank you guys for watching and sticking with me. You know, um, if you've been on a while, you've heard this, you don't have to listen, but if you are not in my customer group, we are having a Cyber Monday um, sale on our website, which is not through me. It's on my actual website. Um, that address is up there at the top of your screen. Well, I just took it down, but it's up there now. So if you are not in there, um, you can get into my VIP group and get all the deets. I'll put it all over, but um, that starts tomorrow. Type add me to do that. If you loved what we just did today and you would like to make money doing this or, you know, just have an awesome group where you can craft and get really great ideas and get your products at a discount, we love hobbyists at Chocolate Tour. So, you can absolutely click comment. You, I will add you, or I will give you the link to go into a group 
that where I go live every Monday at nine o'clock Eastern time to look at what's going on or to see what's going on with uh, becoming a designer and I tell you all that stuff. I appreciate you so much for sticking with me during this trying day of lives and love them good thank you i appreciate all the kind words about my artwork today um anyway happy sunday happy rest of your weekend enjoy it while you can and snow everybody put on your jammies backwards flush an ice cube in the toilet and sleep with a pillow under your, no not a pillow sleep with a spoon under your pillow so that i get a snow day tomorrow Okay. Have a great night. Bye, everybody.